What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna do another Minecraft mini tutorial and it is on the redstone basics. So here we go. This is redstone in its natural form when you find it as you're mining. So this is what it looks like when it comes out. It's powder and it basically transforms it, it tra- it it travels the current of electricity along a path. So this is a single, pe single piece of it. And then that's a double piece. It cannot be placed in glass. And also wa if you water destroys all redstone stuff. And it cannot be placed on leaves. So here are different types of ways to activate redstone. Buttons. It lasts for two seconds. Thousand one, thousand two. And doors are something that you can activate with redstone. And I'll show you other things over there. Redstone torch is always lit. It never stops lighting. It's always lit. So it always lights this. Unless if you do something with it. This is a wooden pressure plate. It could be activated by stepping on it. Any lot, any person or animal or mob steps on it, then, or an item. With a stone pressure plate, you cannot you cannot do an item. It has to be a person, step or a mob or an animal stepping on it. Um. So a lever, it keeps it. It keeps the. Um, the door open until you close it again. See? So the levers are pretty cool. And redstone, as you can see, travels only 15 blocks long. And then, you're going to need what's called a repeater. I can do that. Oh, I need it over here. I don't know why it's not doing it, but it should. I don't think I placed it correctly. Yeah, there we go. So, it, it, it keeps on lighting. You have to place it that direction. It lights it for more than 15 blocks. Here's a trapdoor. It can be used um, with levers and redstone activated objects. Here's a dispenser. If you put an arrow in it or something. It shoots it, it shoots whatever item you put in there out. And you can put them back in there and they'll shoot in random order of whatever you have. See, I got a So here's a note block. It produces a sound when step um it produces a sound. And if you right click it, it goes up and down scale. If you, uh, if you, if you left click it, it stays on the same note. Um, fence gates can also be used with redstone. And, okay, okay, one second. This is a piston. Let me turn it to daytime so you guys can see. The piston. It pushes objects. Let me put, let me put a dirt there. But it does not pull them, so... But a sticky piston does. So, push it, pull. So that's sticky piston is cool. Also, this is a glowstone lamp. It, it's it just came out in the latest update and it's pretty cool. Can be activated with redstone and yeah. Here's a. This doesn't really have to do with redstone, but this is a. This is what a record player, I guess. A disc. I forget what's it called. Jukebox, yeah. You and it plays the music of discs, and you can get discs from Creepers or Creative Mode. See. I'll pop that out. And this 
I'm going to show you this is a mine cart setup. So you need these are booster rails. These are regular rails and this is a detector rail. So whenever the mine cart goes over this, it activates the redstone. And these redstone torches keep the redstone, so let's take a ride. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for my for <laughs> Minecraft mini tutorials, Redstone Basics. Thank you and goodbye.